Hey guys, today we're making Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Hope you'll enjoy. I first added a ball of white clay to the end of a knitting needle and started sculpting the head. Use a darting tool to make the hollow eyes and pre-bake. After pre-baking, add some more clay to the front to make room for the nose and the mouth. If you want, you can make his teeth, but they weren't really visible in the picture I used as a reference, so I chose not to. You also want to add some clay above the eyes, then pre-bake again. After baking, I painted his face using black acrylic paint and grey pastel. To make some simple hands, I once again added clay to the end of a knitting needle, then added another piece, rolled out four fingers for each hand, and added some lines using a dotting tool. Use liquid clay to strengthen the joints and bake. After baking, I painted them using black and white acrylic paint. Make an armature and attach the hand the same way as in my corpse bride tutorial. Then begin adding clay to the torso. Because he's such a simple character, I decided to just make the outfit using polymer clay, but if you want you can definitely make it using fabric as well. Once you have the basic shape, pre-bake. Then add clay to the neck and add more details to the jacket.
For the arms and legs, wrap around some black clay and try to smooth it out as much as possible. But instead of spending too much time smoothing this out, I just used some sandpaper after baking. Before sliding on the head, I used my X-Acto knife to make the hole a bit wider at the top. Then bend the wire like this and add white clay on top. Make some super simple shoes. Attach these and pre-bake. Then add the final details on his pant legs and sleeves and bake again. After baking, you can make the joints at the elbows and knees by first making a cut and then removing some clay where you want the joint to be. And for the stripes on his outfit, I just used black and white acrylic paint. Finish off by making the bat, paint it using acrylic paint and glue it in place. 